If you're currently working on Google Sheets and you want to use dates and autofill those dates, then I'm going to show you how to autofill dates in Google Sheet. Now, as you can see, I'm on a, let's say, a relatively blank sheet with just the word date there. And this is a section on the side or the column that I want to add those dates in. So how do we go about doing that? You want to find the cell that you want to add the dates in. And you can start by writing it in whatever format you want. The important thing here is that you want to use a specific format that actually works or exists within the formula. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what a certain format look like. And once you use that specific format, you can always go ahead and change those formats. Right, so how do you find those formats, or number formats, or date formats? Simply click in format, go down to where it says numbers, and go down to where it says custom, date, and time. Once you click on this, guys, you'll see a ton of different formats that you can choose from. And I'm going to start by choosing one format here. So let's say I'm going to choose this format here, which is basically, once I click on it, it's going to say it's the month first, then the day, and then the year. And as you can see how it's written, one number, one number, then two numbers. Then if I go ahead and I click and apply for this, I just need to follow this format. So again, the month. I'm going to use the current month that I'm currently in right now. So it's May. So it's the 5th. Then there is a comma. And then there is a day. So it's the 28th, right? And then a, then a slash again. And then you want to go ahead and enter the year. So 2025. So I'm going to put 2025, right? So once I do that, you can see that the format is there right then all i would have to do to autofill is just drag this down but what i'm going to do i'm going to change the format again to show you that it actually works so as you can see i already click on the cell so if i go back to format now go where it says number go to a custom date and time i can choose a different format so let's say i want to use this one here not with the slash but with the dash or something like that right you can click on that then click on apply and you see that it changes immediately as well so I'm satisfied with this. Then all you have to do is just left click on this little circle on the lower right hand side of the cell and just drag it all the way down. And you will see that it changes. And as you can see, it auto fills the rest of the month and it moves on to the next month. And you just want to drag this all the way down. Whichever format you want to choose, guys, you can always go back and change this. So just simple click on the format, go to down to where it says numbers, it's at the top there, then go to the custom date and time. And you can choose whatever you want, right? It's really up to you. Just select whatever you want and it will basically change once you click and apply and it will change it for you, right? And as you can see right here for me again, it changes. And that's all that you have to do, guys. Very easy and very simple how to autofill date and time in Google Sheet.